Well, good morning to you. How, how are you doing on this Tuesday morning or afternoon evening, depending on when you're catching this? I uh, hope it's going well for you. And yes, I know I always start the videos off with that way, but I, truthfully, hopefully things are going well for you. I just finished one of my micro trainings as I got back into that this week. David here with you. We talk about balancing the triad, body, mind, spirit, and you use those to improve your health, wellness, and fitness. So here's today's topic. Is your health important to you? Prove it. Okay, so let's kind of go dive into that a little deeper. I think if you ask the majority of people, is their health important to them? The answer is going to be yes. However, if you ask them to say prove it, they're going to go, huh? What do you mean? What is it you do in your daily life that is proof that your health is important to you? Now that can throw some people up. Because how often do you say, some people say, yeah, if I can talk straight. Yeah, this is important to me, whatever it is. But yet you look at the way they live their life and they didn't even get around to it. Yeah, it's important for me to start this new business. It's important for me to start working this art project. And they don't do anything for it. Same with health. Now for myself, is health important to me? Yeah, it is. What proof do I have? I eat pretty healthy every day. Do I splurge every once in a while? Yeah, I do. Every once in a while. But probably 90% of the time I eat very healthy. <clears throat> or at least re very reasonably healthy. I exercise pretty much every day. I get some type of meditation in most days. On our days, I do kind of forget and get soft track and forget about spending the five minutes or so just quiet breathing. I work on getting uh, good sleep. <clears throat> I educate myself to where I'm always learning something. I got a good connection with uh, spirituality between friends and I got a good connection with those that are around me. I be careful what I put into my mind. So yeah, health is important to me and I got documentation to back it up. <clears throat> so the question is for you, if it's important to you, do you have proof that it is? And if not... Ask yourself, what's the reason it's you don't have the documentation? What's the reason you say it's important to you, but yet you don't follow through? And we've been a video for this, that even though I know, but do you do? So, same element as that one there, just a slightly different aspect. But yeah, find out if your health is important to you, your health, wellness, your fitness. But if you're not taking care of it, what's the reason? Is it time? Or I should say it's not actually time, it's how much time do you think you need to take care of it? If it's too expensive... Again, what is it you're considered that you think you have to spend a lot of money on? When it comes to your exercising, body weight exercises are incredible. Calisthenics, which means you're using your body. The only thing you could probably use is somehow to do pull-ups on or at least recline rows. So your body weight exercise is incredible. You can go on YouTube and look up calisthenic and you'll find some of the feats that the men and women are doing. Incredible. And their physiques. So that throws that excuse out the window. You can grease the groove, which means you can practice throughout the day. You can uh, do a little workout in the morning, maybe something in the afternoon at work, or you don't have to work up a sweat and maybe do something in the evening. So that throws out the time aspect of that one there. It's expensive to eat healthy, okay, where you can at least have water versus soft drinks. You can at least cut down on some of the crappy foods, the cookies, the candies, the sugary foods. You can cut down on that a little bit. <laughs> there's that one there. You, don't, you haven't learned how to meditate yet. Well, there's hundreds of different styles of meditation. You haven't figured one that works for you yet. So there's that excuse. <clears throat> so... But I think you can see the track here we're going on. There's a pretty much whatever. I've, sometimes, a lot of times I've say there's a fine line between excuse and a reason. So, you can figure that one out. Reason is a very good one. You just got in a car accident and you can't do anything. Okay, there's a reason why you're not allowed to do certain things. Yeah, I got a little, I got woke up late. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excuse. So, and it depends on whether it's important to you. I think you can see where I'm going with this. But yeah, as with anything, if... Uh, Going on the same trend as what I just said here. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. <clears throat> so, if your health is important to you, if it's important to you to take care of your health, your wellness, your fitness, to improve yourself, to do whatever you need to do, what's the proof that it is? All right, well, we'll leave it that one there. And if you want some help on that, in my Facebook group, there's some free training, Health and Wellness Year and Way, which is going to get you started in that process to make sure if it's something that's going to be important to you. Let's actually find you. Let's help you get started on that path. So that's what I got for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you tomorrow. So take care and balancing to you. Bye-bye.